Hi, I'm True Weather Meteorologist Mark Shannonberger with the peak of summer warmth behind us. And as August nears, it's time to start thinking about the winter that lies ahead if you haven't already. At this point, the model trend has shown another weak to moderate La Nina for the 2022-23 winter season, which may weaken towards the end of the season. This would mark the third consecutive season the El Nino Southern Oscillation, or ENSO, has been in this similar pattern. Looking for the analog years that match this characteristic on the Oceanic Nino Index, or ONI, we find that over the last 30 years, the 2000-2001 and possibly the 2012-13 winter seasons were potential matches. Going back even further, the winters of 1975-76, 1985-86, and possibly 1971-72 all showed similarities. As we begin to analyze this data a little more, we see that the ONI for the 1975-76 winter season was a moderate to strong La Nina, which at this point seems unlikely for the upcoming winter season. For this reason, we have removed the 1975-76 winter season from the remainder of our analog base analysis and anomaly data. We then compare the current sea surface temperatures, or SST anomalies, with that of our four remaining analog winter seasons we skewed our analog based analysis in the direction of the 1971 72 and 2012 13 winter seasons to more accurately match the current SST anomalies. Skewing our analysis in the direction of the 1971 72 and 2012 13 winters also yielded a strong ridge across the southeast, which is a signature present during La Nina seasons. Given all this information and analysis, the current forecast would tend to favor the 1971-72 and 2012-13 winter seasons as being the best analogs for this upcoming winter at this point. However, there's still a large variance in the ENSO, so we'll need to watch how this trends over the coming months. The other thing to keep an eye on is how that pocket of warm water in the North Pacific progresses, as this will determine if we see a strong Pacific jet or increasing potential for high latitude blocking. If you'd like to learn more about any of the products your True Weather has to offer, you can find us on the web at truewx.com. Also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on LinkedIn and Instagram, and like us on Facebook.